Okay, we are showing you today how to tape a foot that's got plantar fasciitis. And we've got Vincent here today who has actually got a shoulder injury and we, you'll see him on our shoulder videos, but he has done a lot of walking in thongs or flip-flops or jandals if you like from New Zealand. And what's happened is his arch here, when you're in a, in a thong or a flip-flop, the arch collapses down. And what he's got is he's stressed the plantar fascia right at the point of the origin. So he's very tender right on the bone of the calcaneus where, where that plantar fascia hooks on here. You can see him jumping a little bit. And so because he spent a lot of time in walking around, walking around in thongs, that has done a little tear in there and that needs to heal. Now, we need to therefore try and keep his arch up to try and stop that um, tearing all the time and let it heal. Plus he needs to be in some decent shoes, like he needs some decent arch support in his shoes, he needs to wear them a lot. But today I'm going to show you how to tape it because he will have to tape this himself when he, when he can't get in to see the physio or when he's away. Um, and what I like to do is because taping needs, this stuff needs rigid tape, so this brown tape needs rigid tape, this has got a zinc oxide in it and the skin doesn't like that very much. So we tend to use a hypoallergenic porous tape. So this is called Therafix, um, it's other brands called Fullfix, that sort of thing. And we use this as an underwrap to give the skin a barrier, um, which means you can have that tape on for you know, three or four days rather than three or four hours, and you shouldn't get a skin rash on this. So we just need to cover it. It doesn't have to be tight, and preferably I don't want it that tight because the other tape is what we need tight. And you just need to cover all the main areas that are going to get exposed to tape. Like that. So this part's a little bit time consuming because it requires you putting all this on. But I just thought I'd show you this to start with. So sometimes the plantar fashion can get really bad and doesn't heal or they have to have it taped for a long period of time. Now, getting taped all the time is not, it's a temporary measure. It's not that appropriate if you need to, you know, if this injury is going to last for months and months and months, you may find that you need to actually get custom orthotics built because the arch needs to be supported and kept up in, in that natural arch all the time um, so it doesn't get re-injured, so it can actually heal because it takes a very long time for it to actually heal and the patient has to be really good for a long period of time. Now in the summer that's pretty hard when you want to go to the beach all the time but you really can't walk around in bare feet for too long and you really can't walk in flat shoes for too long or flat sandals. Okay so there we've covered it all right so So what you start with, with your rigid tape, is two strips, one's from the big toe kind of this, to the heel. So I like going from the big toe, right, so the ball of the big toe there, and you let the foot curve a little bit and relax, okay? And then you tight and go back around make sure it's flat, around the heel is the anchor, like that, and then push it down, okay, so this is acting like a sort of a bridge or a hammock for that part of the plantar fascia, and then you do the same thing from the little toe to the heel in that same direction, so little toe, and a bit of a curve there, if you do too much curve it'll be too tight, and back around and wrap it into there. Now that sometimes is enough of two two strips there. I like doing a little bit of a third one. You don't have to go too tight with this though. And that goes from the middle of the foot here. Same direction. So make sure it's nice and flat. The last thing you want is wrinkles under your foot because that's uncomfortable. Okay, so there's your three there. And now we have to reinforce that coming under the arch. So what you do is come under from the right 
side, was his right foot, from the outside the lateral board of the foot, just sort of at the point, the back of the heel. So it's not over the heel completely, it's right on the edge of the heel where that tear is. And you need to come up into here. Do you see that? And pull up. So it's reasonably tight. All right, so that all stays really tight in there and just locks it up in there. It also lifts all that tissue up. And then you repeat that as many times as you need to get around the foot. But you come over the previous one by about half. Like that. Okay, and don't pucker it too much. This is what's going to feel really tight for the patient. So they're going to feel like their foot is bound up a bit. So grab it there, pull it up. This is like giving them a super arch, if you like. And it completely rests, well not completely, but it rests that arch quite a lot. And I'd come up to the point where you're just before the ball of the foot. So don't tape over here, okay? Go below that. So it's all through the arch and a little bit of heel into there. All right, just push it all down. So he'll feel he's taped up quite a bit. Does that feel right, Vince? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then just lock it off. And this one doesn't need to be tight. It just needs to be covering everything so it doesn't fall off when he's putting socks and shoes on and showering and all that sort of thing. And you can shower with it. Um, it just gets a bit manky after a while. Um, you can keep it out of the water if you want to. And there you go. So he can keep that on for three, maybe four days. Um, you can check the skin, that sort of thing, if it's, if it's getting a little bit white or lacking oxygen. Um, but what that will do is then hold him up this way, but also hold him up that way. And that will feel really supportive when he puts his foot on the ground. But like I said, he's still got to be in running shoes quite a bit. And the other things he can do is get in there with some ice. So you can roll on an ice bottle, or you can have a, a trigger point ball in there and massage that out and loosen that up, which will really help. Um, when the tissue heals, it gets really tight. And you don't want it super tight, you want it looser. So he can work on that while it's getting better. Um, and then doing some other exercises like calf raises and strengthening and stretching his calves and all that sort of thing to help with that as well.